40 multicolor flowers here and by the time I thought of making this video I had dug most of the corms out so the reason I'm digging them up is because they were a little close together and they didn't bloom a lot a lot of foliage but not a lot of flowers so we're gonna put them in a better place a little bit more Sun so now when you want to dig these up use a claw like this and loosen up the soil surrounding the corms you don't want to dig too close because they do spread very quickly and you don't want to disturb the corms and once you loosen it up it should come up now I wish there was a way for me to tell what colors they were um, but at this point I cannot I wish I marked them now over here are the remaining ones that I had dug up earlier so there's beautiful beautiful healthy corms a lot of them are forming new baby ones here's an example of now these are about this was their second season so this must have been our original corm and then these three developed this season and now we're forming tiny little ones as well so they're healthy healthy and we got a good 30 or so here plus the new growths as well now you might notice that i'm leaving a lot of the foliage actually all the foliage on the corms the reason being is we do not want to disturb um, the new growth first of all and we want to drain all the moisture out of the bulb corm uh, down into the leaves just send a signal to the corm that it is time to go into dormancy so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hang them somewhere somehow so that all the moisture goes down into the stem down this way all right and then come back in two three weeks when they're dry and the leaves will probably be yellow by then I'm gonna leave them in the basement where it's a little cooler already and then we're going to snap off with clean, clean shears all the foliage. It might even take a month. So now, and then once they're dry, we'll be able to clean off the dirt and prevent any kind of mold from uh, forming on there or any kind of pests. It'll be easy to see them. Now then we're going to store them in a dry box with good ventilation. Um, put some newspapers inside there, maybe an old shoe box, a cardboard shoe box, or if you have a, a wicker crate, um, that would work really well as well. All right, so um, like again, I said, I wish there was a way for me to tell what colors these beautiful things would be. I had red and white and yellow and peachy, orangey colors see what they are next year and I'll try to mark them a little bit better all right folks so that's about it for now we got a little if it look at that goodbye all right awesome um any questions let me know all right folks happy planting happy fall